grateful for this opportunity to create create this book because um, when I first wrote a book for young people, like young in linear human years, but also maybe people who are new to the craft, you know, there's a lot yeah. of foundational practices. When I first put a book like this together, it was nearly 20 years ago. It was about 17 years ago. And back then I called it Life's a Witch, came out as Witchin in America. Mm -hmm. And then my publishers said, um, would you like to revisit the material? And they kind of thought it would just be like a little bit of a top, top and tail change a few little things I rewrote the entire book pretty much except for the spells a lot of the core uh a lot of the spells in here are the same but there's new ones as well that especially reflect some of the lyrical content we were talking about earlier um of my new band Sea Witch but the to revisit the material and talk about teen life or new to the craft life now um there was no social media back in the early 2000s there was no there were no smartphones other than Blackberry and only business people had those uh, also, gender fluidity, um, even you could use the term the rainbow witch, uh, gender identity, how do all these aspects that resonate so powerfully in young people's lives, environmental crisis that everyone's aware of, um, how do how does that resonate in people's lives now and what can modern witches do about it? And I've been so grateful that this book has been so well received by not only young people in linear years, the baby they call themselves baby witches now, they're claiming that term and empowering themselves with it, the baby witches the teen witches or witches who have been on the path for a while and enjoy revisiting their foundational practices here, but also parents, caretakers, guidance counsellors have said this book is great because there is a huge wave of young witches in the world and sometimes we don't know how to answer the questions they're asking. Um, you know, it's been a very, um, very uh, humbling and also very wonderful opportunity to do this book. And to have the incredible feedback I've had from around the world from people who found it useful and helpful. And I think that's where in my life now, having come back to writing, I didn't expect that I would have this opportunity. I, I left my entertainment career, which also meant writing <laughs> books, which is part of that publishing, you know, servicing others with, with content like that. I left it to go and fly airplanes in the Caribbean and do humanitarian work. And I ultimately ended up working as an on-demand charter pilot along with all the humanitarian work. But I never thought I'd come back to writing and then to have these uh, opportunities to create these things that um, for people now, having done it, you know, back in 1997 for the first time and to see how things have changed. I, I can say now, Patty, no one ever asked me if I'm a good witch or a bad witch anymore. Mm -hmm.